G'day, how you going? Well, this morning, we're going fishing in my kayak, the Prowler 13. Let's tear into it. <laughs> We've got a five knot south westerly wind blowing the water, so it's not too bad. Only a very tiny swell. I've got some burly in the bin and some squid bait. I'm not going to go out too far, just try and catch enough for a feed. I haven't been out the kayak for a while, so the old shoulders will be feeling it a bit unfit. But what better way to get fit than go out for a fish? And we're going to head out to not too deep water because I've only got a very short anchor line. And I just don't want to go out too far, I want to catch something a bit smaller, pan size. Can't land really big fish in this kayak I have found successfully. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but I'm oh, yeah, not very good at doing it. There's the other guys a lot better than me. So uh going for pan sized fish. Right, we're gonna drop the anchor and hopefully it's not too deep here. So I've only got a limited amount of rope. I'm gonna quietly narrow it down because I don't want to scare the fish. We've just got enough rope. It's just enough. Lucky. I love using squid bait, look at that. Bloody nice piece of bait that is. Snapper like it. So we're gonna chop that up. I've been catching quite a few snap out here using these green sort of streamers for me bait. Seems to be going quite well with a bit of squid. I don't know if anyone else is using them, but I've had quite a lot of uh, luck using them. They seem to go quite well. Right, that's good to go. Big piece of bait. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cast a wee bit away from the kayak. Just a little bit. Probably notice I've got a rope tied onto this. Just because last time a whopping big stingray grabbed it, I nearly lost a whole lot. It wasn't a huge cast, but it'll, it'll do. You can see we've got an offshore breeze, so I'm now swung around. The wind's blowing me out. The anchor has taken right, we'll just let that go out and put another one out on this side here. I'm just going to put that one down by hand, because this doesn't cast very well, this rod. And down she goes. We're probably in about, oh I don't know, seven or eight metres of water. Just down there. Oh, well, I've got some burley in the back bin, so I'm going to put that down there. Heaps of burley. The size of that. It's massive, isn't it? I'd normally use a bow line and that, but I'm using a figure eight because it's a bit short. You can always remember when you at sea. Keep your rubbish in the boat. One of my pet hates is people that put pollution in the forest or in the ocean or the rivers or the lakes. Tidy your mess up. Right, the waiting game, we've got rods on either side and burly over there. It's a matter of waiting for the fish to come in and uh, take the hook. The sun in New Zealand is deadly. Well, it's the same sun all over the world, but what we have is a very uh, light ozone layer over New Zealand. The other thing we don't have, which a lot of other countries have, we don't have a lot of smog and rubbish. And in countries like China and Europe, Europe's not really a country, it's a whole continent, but those places, the actual smog keeps the the rays out from really damaging your skin. Slip, slap, slop. Now I've got one big greasy head. You guys can probably see my lines biting where I can't because they're behind me. Normally I feel them. Boat! Gee! 
What the hell is that? Fire out! <laughs> Damn! There's a fire the other way. Shit! What is that? It's a big snapper! It's a big snapper! Jeez! <laughs> Look at that! Place. Shit. Well, we've got a landing net for this. Ah. Damn. In the boat. Spiking. I've been out here for ages and nothing come along and I thought I'm not going to catch anything and then finally boom and I wasn't ready for it, I was just on my phone just about, I was ringing up my girlfriend are we? I was saying oh, I'm coming in honey it's useless out here and then he hit and I wasn't ready for it but he's a bloody beauty <laughs> it is sensational Whoa. Oh yeah, the old eyes a bit stuffed. Ain't going anywhere though. I'm not gonna lose that bastard. Happy days. <laughs> Taking the anchor up. One fish that size is plenty to feed me and my partner and her children. It's a big fish. There's no point to carry on fishing. We only take what we need most of the time. Successful fishing. Well, that was pretty awesome fishing. The wind's come up quite a bit now. That's a nice snapper. We're gonna eat. There goes Awe coming in on the beach. That's an oyster. So I haven't eaten today, I don't eat by choice in the morning. I find if I go fishing or hunting, my prey drive goes through the roof and I have a much more lean, mean attitude towards fishing and hunting. So I was out there for four and a half hours a day. If I was already fed and I would eaten something, I would have given up after two hours, but that's a psyche part of myself that I know. So it really gives me a real strong incentive to fish and hunt, is to be a little bit hungry. Mm. And what better way to break my fast? Do you want some honey? Sharing your row. The one you love. I feel like I'm feeding my child. Holding your hand. 
Is the eye, I've already eaten the one on the other side. These are really yummy. If you've never tried fish eye, give it a go. It's actually really nice, eh, hey, hun? Yeah. It's Aoi's daughter's favourite part of the fish. Mine too. Oh. Can't eat that part. That's just yummy, eh? It's another taste you can actually explain. You've got to eat a fish eye to do it. I used to eat them raw when I was a kid, but cooked they're much nicer, they come out sweet. Look at that. Really tender. Oh. I think I actually like that more than the eye. It's <laughs> your favourite part. It's Aoi's favourite part, the snapper cheeks. Man, it's tender. Juicy tender. People throw that away. Without doing cooking, you never know quite how it's going to go, eh, honey? Right, we had a really hot fire today. I wanted that, but I wasn't sure it was going to work, it was going to burn it, but it's turned out to be a real success. It just tastes delicious. Fish shouldn't be overcooked. Mm. This is delicious. Good luck with your own hunting and fishing and outdoor cooking. And be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. See you later. Yum. Really good, eh? It's really good. That's a good fish. Damn. Big snapper! Jeez! Woohoo! Look at that! 